What's going on, everybody? My name is Bendy, and I will break your kneecaps, kid. No, I'm just kidding. And this is Disney Heroes. Is that Mr. Pig? No. What about him? Is that him? No. <sighs> That's gotta be him. Stop talking, stop talking, stop talking. Look how cute he is. I fucking hate him. So, if you couldn't guess by that intro, today, we're going to be talking about Mr. Big and Kozlov. I told you never to show your face here again, but here you are. Mr. Big is the control hero from Zootopia. I always seem to think that he's a tank for some reason. Maybe it's just because Kozlov is so big. But um, yeah, they are control heroes that play around a ton with Freeze, and they also have Scare too. But mainly the thing that just makes them so dominant is their freeze. Uh, but they are really taking over the game since they joined the game a couple of months ago. And they're very difficult to deal with. So I'm here today to give you guys a little bit of help with who Mr. Big is good against, who he's good with as teammates, what mods you should give him, and of course, how to counter him. I come here unannounced on the day my daughter is to be married. So, like always, if you like what I'm doing here, if you like my Hero Overview series, definitely give me a like, subscribe, comment. I would hugely appreciate it. We are on the road to a thousand subscribers. So even if you don't give a crap about my channel, I would hugely appreciate it if you subscribed. It really helps me out more than you could ever realize. So anyways, with all of that out of the way, let's just get right on into it. Like we always do with this Hero Overview series, we are just going to start by going through their skills and seeing what they do. So to start, we have Mr. Big and Kozlov's White skill, Polar Freeze. Mr. Big gives the signal to ice all the enemies, scaring them for 8 seconds and then freezing them for 11. If enemies are already frozen, Mr. Big deals a lot of damage to them as well. And the freeze and scare has a chance to fail. So this is definitely just the beginning of what makes Mr. Big so good. The amount of freeze that they have on their kit is super annoying, and I'm sure if you've faced any Mr. Big before, you know how annoying they are to face. And this is just really the beginning of the hurt and the pain that they're just going to cause you. Their green skill, Polar Punch. Kozlov shields Mr. Big, granting them a shield with quite a bit of HP actually, that lasts 7 seconds and also gives them 4 stacks of hardy. Kozlov then throws a punch at nearby enemies, dealing a pretty decent amount of damage to them. Mr. Big also gains armor for 9 seconds per frozen enemy he damages. So this is a pretty solid green skill, I'd say. Um, this just really helps to give uh, Mr. Big and Kozlov some more bulkiness in the battle, and also does a pretty decent amount of damage itself. Their blue skill. I awesome. Mr. Big calls in a limo to take care of the furthest backline enemy. The limo picks up the enemy, and after 5 seconds they return to battle frozen and take about a million damage, at least at my level, while frozen. Keep in mind, this is damage over time. That will come into play a little bit later. This freeze does not end until the frozen enemy is below 35% of their max HP and at least 8 seconds of length. So this is definitely by far the most annoying part of Mr. Big's kit. It is extremely annoying. Even when you're on the attacking team using Mr. Big, uh, Mr. Big and Kozlov, this can be kind of annoying as well because it kind of just sometimes makes the battle go on for way too long. And sometimes it'll just make you time out by no real fault of your own, even if you would have won the battle. So it can be kind of annoying. It's kind of the one big downside of Mr. Big. Yeah, this blue skill is just kind of weird. Purple skill. One request. Nah. Then I have only one request. You want to build a snowman? When an enemy is scared while frozen, the remaining duration of the freeze is increased by 4 seconds. This uh, freeze duration has a chance to fail. So if you throw Mr. Big on a scare team or with teammates that have scare, this can definitely just help to give you way longer freezes. And yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. It's not a super crazy exciting purple skill, it's just makes him even more annoying. The amount of freeze that Mr. Big has is crazy. I feel like your team just winds up being frozen for like the entire battle against them and it's really freaking annoying. And red skill finally, Mr. Big gains a decent amount of armor whenever he damages a frozen enemy with his basic attack up to a maximum of about a million armor at my level. Uh, could be different for you. Um, enemies are frozen by polar freeze 14 seconds longer if they are above 50% of their max HP. 14 seconds, that's crazy. What is it? What was it normally? It was 11 seconds to start with. So this goes to a 25 second freeze if they're above 50% of their max HP. That's insane. That's literally like a quarter of the battle. So you can see the freeze on Mr. Big is extremely annoying. So, talked about the skills, let's move on to the friend discs. First we have the blue friend disc. This is the one that I use personally. 
I think that's slightly better just for general use, but both discs are pretty good. So over on the disc level side, Mr. Big gets more skill power, and enemies lose reality when they are scared and frozen. Very cool, um, it just makes it so that Mr. Big does even more damage against them with his skills. Not with his basic attacks, but with his skills, he does way more damage, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then on the discard level, Mr. Big gains energy each time an enemy is scared or frozen, so this just makes it so that he can get his uh, Polar Freeze move off even faster, so the enemies get frozen even faster. So, that's that. And then we have the Judy Friend Disc. This one is also quite good, but it's definitely a little bit more niche. Uh, the disc level side is allies gain armor while they are studied, and Mr. Big gains basic damage per studied ally. So this is just a very good study counter. If you're facing a study team, this could be a pretty good option just to switch over to this disc just to deal with that fight. But over on the star level side, we have Mr. Big's attack speed is increased by quite a bit for 8 seconds when he is studied. So yeah, generally I would say you should go with the Baloo disc just because it's a little bit better for general use. However, if you wanted to go with the Judy disc, it's also just a great thing to have as a backup for helping to deal with study teams that you might be having trouble with. Mr. Big will definitely help against them. So we talked about his skills and friend discs. Let's move on to quickly, let's talk about the battle badge. Now, none of the battle badges ever really excite me like, like I've said several times on this channel, but this one is not awful, not the worst, not the best either though. When Frozen is applied to five enemies, Mr. Big and Kozlov gain quite a bit of armor, so that's definitely a good perk for him, and he gains skill power per control role hero. And then if you enhance the battle badge, they get a heal over time of plus 75% of max HP healed over five seconds. Now, the armor is nice, the skill power is pretty nice, but um, overall this one's just a pretty average battle badge if you ask me. Definitely worth unlocking at least, but uh, I don't know if it's even really worthwhile to enhance this one. Healing over time, over 5 seconds, is not that crazy, and it only applies once. I really wish these third ones would repeat. I think that would make battle badges a lot better. But anyways, let's move on to the mods. That's going to be the last thing we talk about here. Now, I haven't quite finished up the mods for Mr. Big yet, but uh, there's quite a few options. There's really not a whole lot of things that you can't do wrong when it comes to Mr. Big. Um, what I recommend for the skill mods is probably two green skill. But you could also do blue. Um, the green skill mod is just going to make it so that he gives himself more shield and he deals more damage with the punch as well as he gives himself more armor. So I think this one overall is a little bit better just because it does more for you. Um, but you could definitely do the blue skill also because it just makes it so that they will take more damage over time when they come back from the limo. So that's also pretty good, but um, in my opinion, I think the green one is just a little bit better. Both are good options though, so you could do either, whichever one you're feeling. I would do two of them though, so I would do two green skill personally, plus ten green skills. I need to level these up just a little bit more. They just don't give very many green or blue skill mods, so that's what I did so far. Um, as far as the other two slots, you got uh, quite a few options you could do. You could either give them uh, armor or reality. If you look at Mr. Big's stats, he's got pretty even armor and reality, so you could really do whichever one you're feeling. I personally just want frugality because he has slightly higher reality, so. Also, with the red skill, he gets himself armor, so this actually kind of just evens things out a little bit. But you could really do either armor or reality, it doesn't really matter. Um, they're going to kind of accomplish the same thing. Uh, the other thing you could do, which I'm probably going to do with this one right here, I just don't have any speed up mods myself right now. Um, I'm probably going to give him a speed up mod, uh, just to make it so that he gets his skills off faster. Attack speed is just always good to have on most heroes, to be honest. Definitely a very strong mod to have. At first, I was going to say avoid crit mods, but I was looking at his stats again, and look at this normal crit. Mr. Big has pretty high normal crit, so if you wanted to do a normal crit mod, you totally could. Um, just keep in mind that Mr. Big does primarily fantastic damage, so it's really only going to affect his basic attack. He does have pretty decent basic damage. Yeah, he's got like the highest basic damage aside from uh, Mulan of my top people. So uh, definitely a pretty decent option actually, because once you uh, give him a normal crit, the plus 8, it's going to make it so that he pretty much crits almost every single time with his basic attack, so that's really cool actually. So normal crit is definitely an option, um, the other ones that I mentioned before are a little bit better, but definitely an option. Um, you could do a shield, I feel like I say this every video, I don't think the shield is a super great mod, only because it lasts in the very beginning of the fight. Um, however, if you wanted to pair Mr. Big with Kermit, it just makes it so the shield could last a little bit longer, so that's an option if you happen to like to pair Mr. Big with Kermit. Um, the only two that I do not recommend 
is a purple skill mod because this is a level based skill so it's kind of pointless to um, use mods on level based skills so I definitely uh, would recommend avoiding purple skill for the most part and then I would just completely avoid fantastic crit mods. It's pretty useless on him because he doesn't have a fantastic crit stat so 8 fantastic crit is pretty much still zero so um, I don't recommend fantastic crit that's really the only thing I would recommend avoiding completely. Um, other than that, you could really do whatever you want. So yeah, that is the mods for Mr. Big. So we've gone through pretty much all of what Mr. Big does. Let's talk about who is Mr. Big good with as teammates. Um, he's good with quite a lot of heroes. Of course, if you couldn't guess, he's a great teammate to have with freeze teams, obviously, because he does so much damn freezing. He's also going to be great with scare teams, because he does so much scaring. The scaring is definitely a little bit lesser on his kit than the freeze is, obviously, but definitely could pair really good with scare teams as well. When we talk about the scare, um, I think that he's going to go great with Randall, just because uh, when after Randall comes back from being invisible for the rest of the wave, he deals 200% more damage to scared enemies, so pretty great way to just deal so much damage alongside Mr. Big. Demona is another great scare pair with Mr. Big. She will scare enemies alongside Mr. Big and deal a whole bunch of damage with her blue skill. Also, with her Evil Queen disc, she increases her attack speed and basic damage per scared enemy that she has. So, um, Demona's just another great thing to have paired with Mr. Big. I, I almost never talk about her. I don't think I've ever talked about Demona before on the channel, so I just wanted to give her a quick shout out. Sir, this is a simple mm. mistake. This is a simple misunderstanding. Yeah, so Demona, pretty good pairing with Mr. Big. Another good way to pair with Mr. Big as far as scare goes is going to be Lock, Shock, and Barrel with their Oogie Boogie disc. Like I said before, the blue skill on Mr. Big is uh, damage over time when they come back from the limo. So when a DO, uh, when damage over time is applied to a scared enemy, the duration of the scare is extended by six seconds and um, enemies lose evasion while they are scared as well. Also, enemies lose basic damage while they are scared and they're also going to give Mr. Big basic damage because he's on yellow team. This Oogie Boogie disc is actually a pretty good pairing with Mr. Big um, just because of that. And then similarly to the damage over time stuff, we also have Hades who with the Megara disc makes damage over time skills deal 100% more damage so it's just going to be dealing double the damage with the limo move so this is pretty cool. And then another damage over time thing that's going to pair, I feel like I've talked about Manticore in almost every video lately. I don't know, she just pops up every single time. But with the Mushu disc, after 7 seconds of battle, damage over time effects deal more damage. I don't know what this maxes out at. I'm gonna guess it goes to like 90% or something like that, maybe even 100. But yeah, after 7 seconds of the battle, damage over time effects deal more damage. So this is also just going to increase the amount of damage that the limo move does. Hades, Manticore, and Mr. Big could be a very scary combo just for that reason. Um, also, Manticore gains basic damage when enemies have a damage over time effect on them. So also pretty cool. You could also tack on Pleakly to this just to make it even more ridiculous. I feel like those feel like that would be a pretty fun little combo actually. Definitely an option just because Pleakly does so much damage over time as well. Anyways, he also pairs great with Kermit just to keep him alive a little bit better. Kermit will also duplicate Mr. Big's armor and shield that he gives himself onto the rest of his team so that's also a great little thing. Kermit's really just going to go good with everybody to be honest though so pretty obvious choice I think. Another great thing to pair with Mr. Big is if you couldn't guess it, Honey Lemon. Especially if you throw somebody with blind on the team as well, like Ian, Mulan, Powerline, something like that. Honey Lemon deals 200% damage to enemies that are both blind and frozen. So obviously Mr. Big does a whole bunch of freeze um, if you pair him with somebody that does blind. Uh, it's just going to make it so that Honey Lemon does a ton of damage for your team. Another reason is Honey Lemon prefers to target frozen and blinded enemies and she also increases the duration of freeze and blinds by 16 seconds. So if you have Honey Lemon with Mr. Big, even longer freezes. So annoying. So. Honey Lemon and Mr. Big, great together. Probably one of the best pairings in this list that I talk about today. Um, going back to Scare a little bit because I forgot to mention him and I know there's a whole bunch of Sully and Boo fanboys that watch my videos. So I thought I'd bring up Sully and Boo for you guys. Um, obviously, Sully scares quite a bit. Sully gains a lot of skill power every single time that enemy is scared by anybody. So this could be Mr. Big's scare or his or anybody else you could pair that has scare with him. Sully also gives himself two stacks of hardy every three times an enemy is scared. Yeah, Sully is pretty good. Super underrated. I know a lot of you guys love Sully and Boo, so I thought I'd just bring them up just for you guys. Jim is also a great pairing with Mr. Big because since uh, Mr. Big stands in front of Jim, he's going to be getting the morph 
from him, which gives Mr. Big a shield, and with the purple skill, it will block an attack from hitting Mr. Big every, one, every five seconds or so, and uh, causing enemies to get blinded. Jim also energizes the team, so Mr. Big is able to get his white skill off even faster, and also Jim gives uh, his team basic damage for eight seconds with the white skill. Well, Mr. Big does do all fantastic damage, it's just going to make it so that his basic attacks deal way more damage. And like I said before, Mr. Big actually has very high basic damage, so his basic attacks actually do quite a bit of damage. So there is that. Baymax is another great pairing with Mr. Big because of the freeze from the Olaf disc right at the beginning of the fight. It just kind of kicks you off on a, uh, a great footing. He also gives a lot of shield to his team, and also he studies the enemies so that um, Mr. Big's basic damage is going to always crit. So Mr. Big, great little pairing because of the freeze mainly and the study. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I didn't want to get into uh, freeze too specifically. It's just really any freeze hero is going to be great with Mr. Big. So you have Elsa, Kristoff, Olaf, even Felix because Felix has freeze as well. There's uh, plenty of things that you could pair Mr. Big with. He really goes good with a lot of heroes. He's just a really great control hero all around. I always think he's a tank, but he's actually a control. But yeah, so, so we talked about who Mr. Big pairs well with as teammates. Let's talk about who he is good against. Uh, I don't really have very much for this section just because Mr. Big is pretty much good against everybody. He's extremely annoying with all of the freeze that he has, and he just does quite a bit of damage himself. So he's particularly good against backline heroes. So just anybody that stands in the back because the Isom blue skill move is going to target them the most. So he's actually quite good against Kermit for that reason. Kermit almost always gets taken away from the limo move and then comes back frozen for a very long time. So it makes it so that Kermit can't really do anything for a little while. Could go good against quite a number of support heroes like Fear, Timon I think. Joy, Magara, Animal, Bunsen and Beaker even, uh, Evil Queen, and just anybody else that stands in the back. Also with Mr. Big's Judy Disc, like I kind of mentioned before, he's going to be great against study teams. If you want to switch over to this disc just to face a really tough study team, definitely a great option. So there is that as well. And that's pretty much it that I had for the good against section. Like I said, he's good against everybody, really. There isn't a whole lot of situations where Mr. Big is not a good option to have on your team. So I didn't want to bore you guys just by going into a whole bunch of stuff. So it's really just backline heroes and study in particular that um, Mr. Big can really counter. All right, so the final section. How do you deal with Mr. Big? Mr. Big is going to be extremely annoying regardless, but I do have a pretty decent list of heroes and just things in general that are definitely going to help against Mr. Big at least. And I ain't talking, rabbit. And ain't nothing you can do to make me. I some. The first of which is probably the, the worst of the counters, and it's really just the, the red skill on Fear. Fear and his allies are immune to freezes for the first two seconds of the fight. Not a very long freeze immunity. I don't even know if it's really going to affect you against Mr. Big, but if Mr. Big has Baymax or Elsa paired with him, this could be a pretty good option just to help you out in the beginning of the fight against that. But more importantly on the red skill, the first two disables that are blocked from the shield from extra protection, which is Fear's blue skill, block a disable from going off and it sends it right back at them. So rather than the teammate that is standing in front being frozen by Mr. Big, he's just going to have it bounced back at Mr. Big. So you could possibly even just freeze Mr. Big right back with this ability. Pretty decent, not the best counter, but um, definitely an option. Now the slightly better version of that is on Kronk, who with his Isma disc, for the first five seconds of each wave, Kronk and his allies are immune to freezes and instead they go invincible for, I don't know what it goes to, probably like five or six seconds or something like that. So this is basically the same as what Fear does, but just better, just because um, it, he makes them invincible also and it actually lasts for a little bit longer of a time. This definitely helps a ton against Mr. Big. Probably one of the best counters for Mr. Big that you have, especially if you pair uh, Kronk with some other heroes that we'll get to in a second here. Kronk can also just get rid of Mr. Big from the field. It picks somebody random though, so you never really know what's going to happen, but definitely could help as well, just getting Mr. Big off the field for a little while. And yeah, Kronk is just really annoying in general. I think a lot of people don't really understand Kronk. He's probably one of the weirdest heroes in the whole game, to be honest. But yeah, so Mad Hatter is another fun little way that could help against Mr. Big, really just because he is immune to all debuffs, which means he's immune to the freeze, so he can't be frozen, he can't be scared. And also with Mad Hatter's red skill, allies are immune to debuffs for the first four seconds of the wave, so just like Kronk, 
This is just going to make it so that his team can't be frozen for the first four seconds. So this definitely helps against uh, Mr. Big as well as if they have Elsa and Baymax on their team. These three are just ways to help give your team an advantage right in the beginning of the fight. And Mad Hatter has been kind of making a comeback the last few months. Just So we got those three out of the way. Let's talk about Cleanse. Cleanse is, I feel like I mention this every single video, it makes it so that they get rid of all debuffs and disables that your team has on your team. So this literally can just get rid of the freezes that you have on your team right off the bat. There is a list of several heroes that have cleanse. So first is the the main one, or the main two I should say, because I got two of them that really go hard with the cleanse. The first of which is going to be Kevin Flynn with his white skill, removes all negative status effects from his allies. So this is able to get rid of the freezes, the scares that you have, anything like that that you have on your team is just going to get rid of it. And also, similar to Mad Hatter, Kevin Flynn is definitely kind of making a comeback in the game right now, so just something to point out. Um, I feel like I need to move Kevin Flynn up in my tier list. I didn't realize we had Kevin Flynn in meh tier. So if somebody out there remind me that Kevin Flynn needs to move up, because I'm pretty sure he needs to move up. The other best cleanser in the game is Fairy Godmother, who with her purple skill removes all their debuffs and grants two stacks of hardy. So pretty much the same as Kevin Flynn. So there's that. Um, and also, Hardy is a great counter as well. I'll just mention it quickly without getting in too much detail on it, but Hardy will block a freeze from going off on your team. I'm also not going to get into too much detail on Silence, but Silence, another great way to help, just because uh, it's just going to make it so Mr. Big can't use any of his skills. So some of the best silencers are Angel, Disgust, Mushu, Sadness, Tia, and Carl. There's a few other silencers out there, but those are probably some of the top ones. But Silence is going to be a great way to help with Mr. Big, just because it's going to make it so that Mr. Big can't get his skills off. Um, another interesting one, another interesting one is going to be Pleakly with his Milana disc. It just reduces the amount of time that allies are frozen by 10% uh, per 5% HP they are missing. So when Pleakly or his allies get frozen by Mr. Big from any source, whether it be from the limo or anything else really, this is just going to help reduce the amount of time that you're frozen. Kind of similar to how Tenacity works facing freeze teams. This, I usually switch over to this sometimes just because this is a great way to help against freeze teams. I mentioned Tron every single video, but Tron's white skill is able to remove any buff that the enemy has, which means that the armor and shield that Mr. Big gives himself is just going to go away. For once, Tron is probably not the best counter, but definitely helps for sure. Another less so good counter is going to be Donnie. How could I make a video about a gangster character without talking about my boy Donnie? Donald Duck is going to absorb up to three debuffs that get affected to his team and just randomly distribute to them to the enemy team. So this could steal the freeze from Mr. Big and then just send it right back at him, potentially. This isn't a 100% guaranteed way to help against Mr. Big, but Donald Duck is definitely an option. Joy will also help because uh, one, Joy gives her team a shit ton of reality. So it's just going to make it so that Mr. Big's skills don't do as much damage to your team. But also with her anger disc, she is able to block a disable once every two seconds at most and heals the ally for HP. So similarly, going back to Sully again for his second shout out of the video with the Ralph disc on Sully and Boo, he has a, I'm assuming this goes to 100% once it's maxed out the star to avoid a disable. So this doesn't affect his entire team, but uh, this makes it so that Sully is unaffected by the freezes most likely. It doesn't grant full freeze immunity, but he definitely has a pretty good chance to avoid being frozen with this friend. Dip. Pretty underrated, I think. Um, and that's pretty much all I have for counters for Mr. Big. Um, I hope that helps you guys out. The only other thing I have is tenacity. It's not on every single hero, but some heroes with some high tenacity include Maximus, Sadness, Wasabi, Baloo, Kronk, Slinky, Clawhauser, Carl, Swedish Chef, um, Esmeralda, just to name a few. Tenacity is another helpful way to help against Mr. Big and just freeze in general because it reduces the amount of time that you are affected by all disables. And then the final thing I have is just quick damage in general. Since Mr. Big stands up front, he's pretty susceptible to just some really quick damage before he's able to get his freezes off. So if you use, say, Dash, Mulan, Duke Boom, anything like that that deals really quick damage right at the beginning of the wave, it definitely is going to help if you can just take Mr. Big out before he's even able to get started. Um, I'll sometimes just use Dash or something like that against Mr. Big, and it just takes Mr. Big out before he's able to even freeze me for the first time. And yeah, I think that is pretty much all I have for this video for you guys. I really hope this helps you guys out. I trusted you. Bendy. Now that you repay my generosity with a rug made from the butt of a skunk.
I love doing these hero overviews. They're probably my favorite videos to make. So if you love these hero overviews as well, definitely let me know and let me know who you want me to do next on the hero overview series. I have a few other heroes in mind that I want to do, but you guys definitely let me know in the comments. I'm definitely planning on doing a lot more of these as time goes on. I know I haven't been doing as many lately, but these hero review videos take a little bit longer to make than most of my other videos do. So oftentimes it can be kind of difficult to uh, to make them quickly, especially with my work schedule right now. Anyways, I think that's going to be pretty much it. So, um, peace. Metron is almost 3 million Oh, shit. Evil Queen is now the new background for the really good category. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Fuck the more. I love Pooh.